morning everybody we're here in North Bay we're just south of North Bay Ontario Petro Pass is where we spent the night getting ready to head out I've got two days drive to get to Winnipeg it's gonna be two long days a one long day today I'm gonna try to get to Nipigon today and uh, it's about a thousand kilometers 600 miles through northern Ontario so that's a long way to go through northern Ontario in one day but we'll see what we can do uh, we're gonna stop in campus casing today for fuel and a shower and then tomorrow we'll go the rest of the way all the way to Winnipeg and the following day in the morning we'll deliver this freight into Winnipeg and then I go home for a few days our wedding anniversary is coming up six years I want to do something special for that and we have a bunch of projects at home too and the honey do list is getting pretty long so I'm gonna take take a little bit of time off to get some projects done and celebrate our anniversary after this trip let's get going home's not getting any closer just sitting here actually I get sent reports of what fuel prices are at all the locations that I can fuel up plus I have an app for one of my fuel cards that uh, shows me our price at uh, every available fuel stop for me right so I know all the prices of fuel I know I'm like a broken record I'm always talking about fuel prices fuel is the most expensive expense is the biggest expense is a better way to put it in trucking that is what you're gonna spend the majority of your money on unless if you have drivers then the drivers, I don't know, maybe you spend more money on fuel than you would on a driver. Well, they're pretty equal. That would be your biggest expense, labor and fuel. For me, I drive my own truck, so I don't, well, I pay myself, but I don't consider myself an employee. I'm the owner of this truck. So my biggest expense, aside from myself, my mortgage, my family at home, obviously putting money away for that, the biggest expense is the fuel. That's why I spend so much time looking at where the cheapest fuel is and I have all the like I get emails <clears throat> pardon me emails from the office telling me where what all the fuel prices are at Petro Pass uh, all the locations across Canada like I said I have an app as well that I use for my uh, my EFS fuel card and I'm looking at all the prices and it looks like the Petro Pass on the other side of town has the cheapest price on the road home this Petro Pass is more expensive for some reason than the one on the other side of town. This one's a BBD Petro Pass, which is linked with Loves in the States, I think. The other one is just Petro Pass. I don't know what the difference is, but the other one has cheaper fuel, so I'm going there. Let me get fuel over there. And then the next cheapest spot, I need to get all the way to Thunder Bay, to Petro Pass there. Petro Pass is giving us better fuel prices right now than Flying J here in Canada, so Petro Pass gets my business. So we're gonna fuel here in North Bay, Fill it right up to the top. And Thunder Bay is a full day's drive. I'm trying to get to Nipigon or Thunder Bay tonight, right? And then I'll fuel when I get to Thunder Bay. The Petro Pass in Thunder Bay apparently has the best price. It's uh, half a cent cheaper per liter than the one on the 101 and 17. What is it? The Kaw Kaw uh, Kawanessa? One second here. I got the name of it. The one in... Uh, starts with a K. Kawanestik. Kuya. Cam, no, Kaministiquia, Ontario. Half a, like half a cent difference. So if I fuel for like 600 liters, I save $3 by going to the one in Thunder Bay as opposed to that one. But regardless of whatever we're gonna do, it doesn't really matter uh, for that, which one I go to there, $3 is, eh, I should probably go to the cheaper one, save the $3, $3 here, $3 there, now you have $6. You save $6 here, you save $6 there, now you have 12. By the end of the month, maybe you have a hundred bucks. I don't know. So I, I try to get all the cheapest ones. Anywhere between here and Thunder Bay is much more expensive. We're talking five cents per liter more. Uh, Capas casing's always expensive because it's way up there on the Northern Highway. That, that's out of the question, we're not fueling there. Not if we don't have to. 
In wintertime, I might when it's minus 30, minus 40 outside, just to keep my tanks full, to keep the condensation down. Uh, I might top it up up there, but yeah, so we're gonna go to the other side of North Bay to the Petro Pass. And uh, so far this month, it looks like while I'm in Canada, Petro Pass is earning my business. They are giving us the best prices. Sorry, Pilot Flying J, I liked your rewards program and your showers are very nice. Your fuel is a little bit more expensive than your competitor. First things first here though, it's a sunny day outside. Put on my darker lookers. There you go. Oh, yeah. Right on. They're prescriptions, so uh, I can see everything in HD with my glasses on. My, my eyes aren't that bad, but they, they help see everything, especially at night, they help a lot. Not these ones, the other one, these ones. The other ones help at night. These ones don't do much, don't. They're not very good at night. <laughs> But uh, sometimes I forget that I'm wearing my shades because I get so used to them and I'll just walk into like Walmart and just walking around wearing my shades and people are looking at me funny. You guys do that if you have pres prescription shades? I do it all the time, all the time. And then I feel like I'm being rude, right? You guys want a house giveaway today? Thanks for tuning in. If you want a house goodie bag, today's your day. Go down below to the comments section Tell me where you're from, and tell me what your favorite house product is. Unfortunately, for those of you that are outside of North America, these giveaways right now are only available to those within Canada and the United States. House is being very generous and uh, shipping out little goodie bags for you guys. But unfortunately, it's just available to Canada and the United States residents for now. So if you live in Canada or the US, this hat's a little dirty already, sorry, I shouldn't be showing you this one. This is my favorite hat right now. I wear it every day. Down below in the comment section, go down there. Tell me where you're from. Tell me your favorite house product. And if you win, I'll respond to your comment and I'll pin it to the top of the comment section. So I'll give you 24 hours, okay? And then I'll pick a winner. If you go down below to the comment section and there's already a winning comment, the contest is already over. Let me know down below. We're gonna do one more of these this month yet. One more, it could be tomorrow, it could be in five days, it could be in a week. So pay attention to every video, watch them right to the end. And we'll see if we can get to you. It's actually very comfortable too. I actually, I like it that it's, it's not custom fit. Like a lot of them have that custom fit and it doesn't fit everyone's head. I actually like it that this is adjustable in the back. I like it that it's a trucker style cap. And I think it fits great on my head. It's not one of those hats that goes like, whoop, way too high up. It's my style hat. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go get some juice. We got a long day ahead of us today. Make sure the trailer's gonna come with me like usual. Trailer is attached, trailer brakes work. And they release. Ready to go. I have just enough hours on my clock to get home. Getting pretty close to a full 70 hour week though. 100 meters, turn right on Pinewood Park Drive. guys parked up here. Well, I guess that's kind of smart. You don't have to walk as far to get into Burger King. Nice truck. Very nice. Needs a little polish, but so does mine. All right, we got one car coming from our left and a whole bunch coming from the right. I am turning right, so I'm worried more about this car coming from my left here. Once this guy passes by, we're going for it. Let's go. It's gonna be a good day. We'll be driving into the night. Get all the way to Thunder Bay today. Oh, 
theoretically help restore an atmosphere, although such a process would require technology far beyond what we currently possess. It's also interesting to note that gold has been revered and sought after by almost every civilization on Earth. Some theorists argue that this universal fascination with gold might have been implanted in us by our alleged creators, the Anunnaki. And if this is true, does our continued obsession with gold suggest a lingering subconscious connection to our supposed extraterrestrial origins? Getting deeper into the allure of gold, what makes gold so special? It's a question that piques our curiosity. After all, gold is just a shiny metal, isn't it? Well, not quite. Gold, as we've already established, is an extraordinary element. It doesn't corrode or tarnish like other metals, making it last virtually forever. It's also highly malleable and ductile. A single ounce of gold can be beaten into a sheet covering 300 square feet or drawn out into a wire 60 miles long. From an aesthetic perspective, gold's lustrous warm glow has been universally cherished for its beauty. Yet, its value extends far beyond its appearance. Gold is an excellent conductor of electricity and is highly resistant to most acids, making it incredibly useful in numerous industries from electronics to dentistry. We're just getting into Kappa's casing now. I'm gonna pull in that Flying J up ahead here. Hopefully there's some showers available. It's already uh, 6.18 p.m. here, so there might be, uh, 
Hopefully there's not a line up. Well, I think it was a turning lane now. Do we always have this? I don't remember. Lots of parking. Lots of parking available. You have Good. arrived at your destination. 343 Highway 11. I don't want to stay here too long. Okay, we want to do this quick, 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 quick. Right into the sun. Wonderful, wonderful. That's the, that's the thing about going west, going back home. You gotta drive right into the sun. So we had a good shower there, grabbed a coffee, made myself a sandwich. We're not even halfway done our day yet and the sun's starting to go down. Got another uh, about seven hours of driving or so. Should be able to make it. We'll see. Got to at least get, I guess, I guess at least a long lack. But I'd like to make it to Nipigon. That's that is the goal. stays away from the highway. I don't really like driving through northern Ontario at night because of all the moose. But, uh, no, knock on wood, I haven't seen a moose in a long time. I don't know if their population numbers are going down or what's going on, what's going on with the moose. I used to see them on every trip. In the past couple of years, nothing. So knock on wood, let's keep it that way. Stay in the bush. I hope they're okay, I just I hope they're learning to stay off the road. You hit a moose, it's like hitting a car. You're done. The truck is done. Pack it in, go home. It's totaled. Ontario. It was a long day of driving. Long day. We did 992 kilometers, so about 600 miles. We did reach our destination. I had more hours. I could have kept going. I could have made it to Thunder Bay or just past Thunder Bay, but it was late already and it was raining pretty hard when I rolled into town here. And it's, it's quite, it, it reduces the visibility at night when it's raining and you have very black asphalt. Whenever they redo the asphalt and you get a heavy rain, I had the same problem when I was in New York State, right? I found that I couldn't exactly see very well at all during the rain at night. I could keep going. I mean, I've, I've driven through worse, a lot worse, but why risk it? I'm far enough that I can get there, like the rest of my, my way today, the next day, that'll be in tomorrow's video. So why push it and risk, you know, either running into a moose on the road or, you know, somebody else who could leave their lane. I had one guy already when it was raining pretty hard, he wasn't staying in his lane and he was wandering into my lane. Luckily I was paying attention and I could just go onto the shoulder, sort of avoid him as he's coming straight at me. Really upset me. 
freaked me out a bit, but you know those of you who drive through Northern Ontario here know that you want to reduce your risk as much as it can be a dangerous highway. There's a whole bunch of nicknames that we have for this highway that uh, I'll leave for you to under uh, to uh, figure out. But a lot of these nicknames uh, they sort of represent the fact that this isn't really a safe highway all the time, especially in winter time. It's a very narrow two lane road. They tried to widen it by like a, a few feet. We need a four lane going all the way through here, but that would be so astronomically expensive. We could do it, you know, for the safety of our people, but that's a topic for a different video on a different channel. Our money seems to be uh, allocated elsewhere to other things that have nothing to do with us, but uh, it would be very, very expensive and they don't want to do it. It is what it is, right? So Northern Ontario, we're going to get through the rest of it today and we'll be out on the prairies before you know it. I gotta be in Winnipeg tonight. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna deliver this freight. And then I'm gonna bring my trailer back to our yard, hand in all my paperwork, and go to my shop, and then go home. I have a few days booked off. I believe the rest of this week, we, uh, I'll be at home uh, finishing some projects. It's our wedding anniversary coming up. I wanna do something special for that. And just spend some time at home with the family. So tune in. I'll. Uh, Try to keep you guys updated here on the channel as the week progresses. Sometimes when I'm at home, the videos uh, aren't as abundant. I'm very distracted when I'm at home. I'm very busy, so I don't always have time to uh, make long-form videos every day. But it is on my mind, so I'll do my best. I'll see you then, right? Go down below. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't miss it. Stay safe. Be safe. And drive safe out here. It's crazy in Northern Ontario. Drive safe. Watch out for everyone. You know what I'm talking about. It's crazy out there.